What are some factors that make someone's put Ever find yourself caught in this loop that just won't quit? Like you're aimlessly scrolling through your phone, maybe killing time or avoiding doing something you should be doing, and boom, you're back to watching porn again. Look, honestly, no judgment here. We all have our vices, those little habits we can't quite shake off. It's a very human thing, but it does make you wonder, what's the actual impact of watching porn every day? The topic is often surrounded by controversy and discomfort, a lingering awkwardness that even dares to pop up in conversation. So let's cut through that, friend to friend, no judgments, no shame, and actually talk about it. Desensitization Ever find yourself out on a date, but instead of soaking in the atmosphere and laughing at your date's jokes, your mind drifts off to those airbrushed figures on your screen. Reality just can't compete. Listen, I get it, and it's more common than you think. A neuroscientist Dr. Gary Wilson says this kind of mental shift isn't random. He warns that frequent porn consumption can really mess with your brain's reward circuitry, setting you up to crave more extreme stuff just to get the same kick, and making even meaningful real-life interactions feel kinda meh. But hey, no lectures here. Try to take a break from all the screen time and dive into real life. The people around you, those genuine, can't be downloaded connections, make life richer and more meaningful. Trust me, you'll feel the difference. And even if you're struggling to make that switch, remember that there's no shame in seeking help from a counselor to guide you back to balance. Relationship strain. You know that unsettling feeling when you're sitting next to your partner, maybe sharing a meal together or watching TV, and suddenly it hits you. You're just coexisting, not really connecting? Yeah, I've been there, and it's a wake-up call for sure. Relationship expert Esther Perel says this emotional distance isn't just your imagination. Overuse of porn can seriously contribute to you both feeling emotionally disconnected. So what's the game plan? First up, the courage to have that tough but crucial heart to heart with your partner. Open up, let them in on what you're feeling and genuinely listen to what they have to say. And hey, don't knock on the idea of relationship counselling. It's not just for married couples navigating a midlife crisis, it's for anyone wanting to deepen their emotional connection. Negative psychological effects Ever catch yourself nodding off or staring into space and you can't shake the feeling that you're just down more often than not? Yeah, I've had those moments too. And it's both confusing and frustrating. A mental health expert, Dr. Paula Hall, explains that this emotional rut isn't just a random occurrence. She highlights that frequently watching porn can be a significant factor in this, potentially escalating your anxiety and taking a toll on your self-esteem. Now, before you start thinking that therapy is just for other people with bigger issues, let me tell you, therapists are there for everyone. Yes, that includes you and me. They offer coping strategies like mindfulness techniques, cognitive behavioral therapy, and healthy alternatives to address the underlying issues that lead to frequent porn consumption tailored to what you're going through. Risk of addiction. Have you found yourself running late for work or school more often than not because you got caught up watching porn again? Yeah, that's a tough one. And believe it or not, it's a slippery slope that can quickly escalate. An addiction expert, Dr. Patrick Carnes, warns that you might actually be closer to addiction than you think. It's not just a phase, it's a cycle that can slowly start to dictate your life, taking over your free time and even your thoughts. So, how do you get the reins back on your life? Well, first off, there's a zero shame in asking for help. If you're finding it hard to manage on your own, consider talking to someone who specializes in addiction. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for instance, has some proven techniques that could really help you break the cycle. It's not an overreaction to seek help. It's one of the bravest things you can do for yourself. If this video feels like it's speaking directly to you, Smash that subscribe button and ring that bell. We've got more real talk content coming your way. Social life issues. Ever find yourself mentally checked out during a work meeting? Or when you're out with friends, you're physically there but mentally miles away? You're not alone. It's actually a more common situation than you might think. A psychologist, Dr. Philip Zimbardo, points out that habitual porn watching can seriously mess with your focus. It's not a small issue. This can spiral into long-term impacts on your career and social interactions. So here's a practical way to approach it. 
consider creating a balanced schedule that allocates time for work, social activities, and yes, even some downtime for yourself. Achieving a well-rounded life takes some planning, but it's a concrete step you can take to regain control. So, can you relate to any of this? If so, share your thoughts down below. And if you've got a friend who could use this, share the video with them. You can also watch and share this video, 7 Porn Addiction Symptoms to Watch Out For. Until next time, take care. Here's the next chapter in our ongoing Psych2Go story series that we've been putting our hearts into. Our stories are more than just entertainment. They're a journey into the realms of mental health and relationships. Be a pioneer and explore our exclusive playlist. Stories that entertain, educate, and empower. What are you waiting for? I see you. Click on our playlist.